Ars Poetica 2, season finale of the American Dream. We don't say how are you anymore, just you doing okay? It's a good enough substitute. The answers are equally obvious, fine, thank you, and no, of course I'm not doing okay. No one is doing okay. The only ones doing okay are the ones who don't need to ask. At the grocery store, the black cashier searches my eyes before giving back my change, it tells me to take care. I have never seen I have never seen this man in my life, and still I know he will stay up tonight wondering if I got home safe. These days every letter I write to my girlfriend ends not with I love you, but with I am so glad we are both alive. I don't say goodbye to people anymore. I am saving my goodbyes for something that feels more and more inevitable. I want to be ready when it comes for me. In some lights, these consonants look foreign, torn, but I will not allow them any name less than manifesto. Make no mistake, this is not a story about hatred, it is a story about fury. You can do a lot to our language, but you can't make those two words mean the same thing. The woman who lives next door to me is a Khmer Rouge survivor. I was with her when she learned that a man who brags about sexual assault is now our president. It is the first time I've ever seen her angry, and now I know how she survived. Now... I know how we will all survive. Make no mistake, this is not a story about fear, it is a story about what happens when we grow tired of being afraid. I walk down the street and the existence of my body is a room made entirely out of knives. Yesterday, my sister told me that she was going out with her friends and I tried to say, have fun, but all that came out was, are you sure you wanna wear a skirt that short? You cut your teeth on every new language we burn in and we sing more radiant, more jagged still. You think everyone here is full of fear. Make no mistake, this is not a story about fullness. It is a story about starvation. We are so hungry, we are bloody. So hungry, we are frantic. So hungry, we may never eat again.